What's going on everybody? This is going to be a bit different and hopefully quite short. This is kind of an update, I guess, to the video that I launched uh, just a little bit over a month ago announcing the launch of my Udemy course. Now, right up front, I'm going to go ahead and disclose exactly how much I made on this course, like within the first 30 seconds of the video. If you've watched any videos similar to this, they like to wait until the very, very end or like the middle basically in order to capture your attention for as long as humanly possible to get more like time watched metrics on YouTube, which I think is kind of scummy. If you're interested in how much I made on this course, $1,200. If that's all you're really here for, now you got the answer. If you want to know a little bit more about the process, what I think I did wrong and the issues that I've got with Udemy's platform, you can kind of stick around and listen a little bit more about that. So about a month ago on November, I believe it was 11th, I launched my first course on Udemy. The course is titled Scrape the Planet, Web Scrapers with Python, and quite frankly, it's been an overwhelmingly positive experience. I do have a couple of issues with the Udemy platform in general and in kind of the way that I handled creating the course. So this video is going to be more focused on that and a little bit less focused on the revenue side. So... First things first, I am going to be including a coupon code in the description of this because the primary purpose of this video is marketing. Everybody likes to kind of pretend, oh, I'm trying to be radically transparent and all of this other bullshit. Honestly, I'm trying to market the course a little bit more, and this is one of the methods that people use to do that. Everybody's going to kind of be dishonest about that. I'm going to be honest with you about it up front. Obviously, it's a marketing thing. The secondary side, though, is I do want to be transparent about the revenue that I'm making on this, and I do want to be transparent about kind of the process that I went through in order to create the course and kind of some of the issues that I had with it. So let's dive right in. So my mistakes. First and foremost, and the most glaringly obvious one, the thumbnail and most of the marketing for this course is absolute shit. Um, if you look at the course page, which I'll obviously include um, somewhere in this video, um, the thumbnail is bad. I did it in like 15 minutes because I was so, I was just ready to have the course out at that point. Um, but I should have put more like kind of effort into it. And this is going to kind of serve as a disclaimer for later on when I talk about Udemy's kind of marketing strategy. Um, it probably did affect my like click through rate and things like that. So kind of take that as you will. I acknowledge that it's kind of like one of the things that I didn't do super well. I also didn't make a very good trailer for the course in general, and that's on me. So let's break down the actual process itself. The filming of the course took roughly like 24 to 30 hours. The editing, probably 24 to 30 hours. The scripting, I spent probably 40 hours on. And that was my biggest mistake. I honestly wrote just tons and tons of scripts, like thousands of lines of scripts that I ended up basically throwing out because I speak better kind of a little bit more off the cuff. I like to have like bullet point plans on what I'm going to talk about in front of me, but having a script, like you'll see, I think in the first couple of videos, if you end up purchasing the course or if you've purchased it already, you'll see in the first couple of videos, I tried to follow the script and just kind of like read off of it. And it became very obvious because I was monotone and staring at the screen like this. And then I kind of abandoned that and did things a little bit more off the cuff because like I've been doing this for you know, five, 10 years now. So what's the point of me reading off a script if I actually know what I'm talking about? Um, so I think that that would be my biggest mistake. And it added a ton to the amount of hours that I actually spent on the course. Um, and that means that it kind of subtracted or, or detracted a little bit from what I would call my hourly wage for the course. There were also a couple of AV issues. Like I didn't really have my audio up to the level or the standard that I should have had it to. It was kind of a little bit too low, a little, a little bit too quiet. I'll blame a little bit on that, on the fact that I had like a dying Blue Yeti mic and those things are okay and they're all right for starting, but I think I should have had higher standards and I should have bought my new mic a little bit earlier. Um, and that would have kind of increased the, the audio quality of the course. So those are the things that I fully admit I did wrong. And there are things that I can't necessarily go back and fix. Like I can't go back and not spend as much time on the scripts. Um, and I can't do too much to fix the audio issues. They're just kind of something that's there. And I'm okay with that. It's, it's not going to be a perfect product. And one of the issues that I kind of had was like super perfectionism. I was trying to get it like absolutely perfect the first time. And this is my first course. It's my first like 
large scale, I guess, attempt at, you know, something bigger than just like a one off YouTube video. So I'm not going to fault myself too, too much for that. But you know, we are talking about transparency here. And those are the things that I think I did wrong. Let's move on to some issues that I have with Udemy's platform. If you've been following me on Twitter, you will have seen the fact that I made an attempt to kind of create my own website to host some kind of like LMS or learning management system instead of doing things through Udemy. My primary reason for that is I don't like Udemy's marketing and pricing structure. And I say those two things like together because my issue is kind of with the marketing that they use their pricing structure for, if that makes any sense. Basically, the way Udemy works is they mark up all of their prices to like the highest possible level. So I get to set the tier that my course is priced at, which is basically the maximum price that Udemy will offer it at. I set mine at the lowest tier, which is the $20 tier, meaning they can't try to price it higher than $20. But what they do is basically they'll price it super high and then constantly offer sales. I guess a little bit behind the curtain, they don't tell you when they're going to offer those sales, which I think is kind of bullshit. And it led to some like very odd kind of, I, I don't know, gaps on my end. I said, you know, oh, only one more day to get my price at this course. And it was a Udemy sale. And then the next day it was the exact same price or it was a price lower. And I didn't have anybody reach out to me, luckily, because the, the differences were only a couple of dollars. But that basically meant that if somebody bought it on day like five, and it was at $15. And I said, this was an awesome sale. And then the next day it was priced at $13. Well, they just wasted $2 by not waiting an extra 24 hours. And it wasn't something that I, I had any like real control over. The only thing that I can control are the coupon codes. And like I said, I'm going to you know include a link to a, a coupon version of that. So let's go into kind of the breakdown of everything. Let me switch over to my dashboard. So this is the dashboard. Like I said, I've made just about $1,200 between um, last month and a couple of days of this month. Um, my primary purpose for releasing it when I did was that Udemy has massive sales for Black Friday and for the end of the year. So my primary focus was get it out before Black Friday, get a couple of reviews in, get some people signed up for it, and then Black Friday will be huge. Black Friday was okay. I'll, I'll kind of show you, let's see, November 26th. So obviously Black Friday was a huge day. It was a $100 day for me, which was great, but it wasn't anything compared to like launch day. Launch day, I made way more than that. Um, I guess you can't see it broken down day by day. Um, but, you know, I guess I was kind of disappointed because the vast majority of my sales, I can actually show it somewhere here. So yeah, if you look here, the vast majority of my sales were through the con uh, through my own promotions, which was basically me offering coupon codes or me like sharing out the link to my own course. Like we're talking the vast majority of of the sales that went into this course. We're talking in the first month, nine hundred ninety two dollars compared to it looks like uh, roughly a hundred and fifty dollars of like Udemy's promotions. I was a little disappointed in that, honestly, because one of the main reasons why I didn't put this on something like Teachable was one, because I didn't want to put like that much effort into it because you do have to self-host it. You have to set it all up, all of that. Um, but I was kind of hoping that the kind of autonomy that I lost in letting Udemy host it and letting Udemy decide what it was priced at, I was hoping that their marketing would kind of offset that. In reality, most of the money came from my own social media promotions, which I guess is a lesson in and of itself. Like social media is the best possible way to market your course because everybody who bought their bought my course off of social media has some kind of relationship with me, whether it just be like they've followed me for a little while or we've talked a long time or something like that. Um, so I guess if, if there's a lesson that comes from that, don't depend too heavily on Udemy's promotions. Now, that being said, I will refer back to the disclaimer before. My own marketing on this, the thumbnail, the trailer, all of that were pretty trash. I think the bio was okay. Honestly, I, I tried to do as much SEO on that as possible, but you know, I could have done better and I probably could have helped Udemy out a lot on that. But considering the vast discrepancy here, I mean, we're talking, you know, the first month it was... 99% my own promotions or 90% my own promotions and the rest of it was was you to me that to me is a little disappointing um 
but again, that's something that I can improve on. Um, that being said, going forward, I do plan on creating more courses. Obviously, it has been lucrative for me, and you know, I, I don't at all mind a twelve hundred dollar, you know, first time earnings. My plan for this course in particular, like I said in the launch video, I believe, is I'm going to offer this course for free eventually. And here's how that's going to work. Basically, my whole plan for this was there's a six month deadline. After six months of this course being on Udemy, I'm going to take it off of Udemy and I'm going to, or I'm going to keep it onto Udemy, offer it for free so that anybody who bought it on Udemy has access to that content already if they just want to watch it on Udemy. And I'm going to take all of the videos and put it on YouTube for free. My reasoning there is I figure after six months, I've made all of the money that I'm going to make off of that course. And there's no point in kind of keeping that information from other people who might want to see it for free or might not be able to pay the, you know, 10 to $20 that the course is on Udemy. And, you know, it, there's just really no point in kind of keeping it online past or keeping it on Udemy for like a paid thing um, any time past that. I am also planning on doing some more future courses and I've got a couple of mind. Um, I'm not going to do just a ton of them because they are fairly like time heavy. Like it, it, it took a long time to put all of this stuff together. If you've got any recommendations on something that you would like to see course wise, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. I really do appreciate that kind of stuff, but I've got a couple in mind already. Um, I don't dislike the course economy as a whole. I think there's a lot of like, frankly, like bullshit and snake oil that's being sold in the course community, um, whether it be in programming or in, you know, like self-help shit. Like I've, I've just seen some really dumb courses out there. Um, but, you know, for me personally, they're going to be offered very cheap. I'm, I don't foresee me breaking out of the $20 tier unless I just push a ton of content into a course. Um, but it's going to stay cheap and I'm going to stick to the same model of keeping it at six months at the very most being paid and then releasing it for free. Um, like I said, the, the idea there is just getting this information out and, and this kind of education out to as many people as possible. Um, and again, there's really no point in me kind of like hoarding all of this money when I'm not likely to make much more. Like, I think if you look this month, I've made like $50, something like that. Yeah, I made like 50, 60 bucks this month and it's likely to go down from there. There's just no point in me like continuing to milk this for like $60 a month. That's that's not, you know, that's nice, but it's not paying any of the bills. Um, I'm going to start I guess using my Patreon a little bit more. I'll keep that linked in the description. Uh, you know, I haven't gotten gotten it set up and I haven't really fleshed out what that's going to look like, but I do like the idea of Patreon because it's kind of like there's a reward to people who actually like give me money instead of it just kind of being like a PayPal thing. Um, so I'll probably do that later on, but for right now, I'm going to keep the courses cheap, I'm going to offer them for free at the most six months. I've kind of got like, this magic number in my head and I can't really tell you what it is because I don't really know myself. I've kind of got a number in my head where I'm like, if I make that much on this course, I'm just going to go ahead and release it because that's that's enough for me to make. Um, but, you know, I haven't reached that point yet. At the very most, it's going to be six months. So that will be early May of 2022 is when this course will be free at the very latest. Thank you so much. If you've bought the course already, I really do appreciate it. Obviously, it's helped out a ton and I appreciate it a ton. If you haven't bought the course yet, um, feel free to. It's it's there, and I will leave a coupon code. I believe it'll be a ten dollar coupon code, so you'll be able to get it for ten bucks instead of twenty. Um, take it easy. Peace.